And here the verse in the front of us, one of many verses is speaking about the power of the cross in the Bible. But it's very wise, very short, very sharp, answering the foolishness of this man who called himself Abdul Samud. By challenging this man, if he dare. Apa sebabnya kata ibu itu mirip macam ini? Saya terlalu terbayang salib, mampak salib, jin kafir sedang masuk. Karena di salib itu ada jin kafir. Dari mana masuknya jin kafir? Karena ada patung. Kepalanya ke kiri apa ke kanan? Ah, ada yang ingat kan? Hello everyone, I'm Peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic about a real Abdul. This guy, his real name is Abdul, Abdul Samad. And he is a supposedly a cleric, Muslim cleric from Indonesia. He said that there's a genie in the cross. And that is to explain to a woman why there is a power when she think even just thinking about the crucifixion. So a woman asked me once, why I, do I get the chills whenever I think about the crucifix? He said, because there is an infidel jinn in the crucifix and because of the statues of her Christ on it. We should never worship as statues, Samad said. Okay, first of all, we Christians don't worship statues and actually no Christian worship the cross. Uh, some people, they make it as an art, as a remembrance of, uh, of uh, let us say, Jesus. But we don't even know how Jesus looked like. Even they say that there is a there is a print of his face uh, from his blood, etc. But who need to know the face of Jesus, how he looked like? The Lord, he will come in his glory one day and we will see him. And we don't worship a piece of towel, have a face of Jesus or a cross. Simply, this is a stupidity is taught to Muslims by Muslim cleric that we Christian worship a cross. You Muslim, you kiss a black stone. And the stone is made in the shape of a vagina. And then when we ask you why you kiss the stone, you say to us because the prophet kiss it. At least if a Christian, he do such a thing which is not required by any Christian, he is just respecting what Jesus, what happened to Jesus in the cross. Otherwise, the cross is a piece of wood. It's just a piece of wood. Actually, every electric column in the street is a cross. So are we going to kiss them too? So this is very stupid of those who try to explain the power of faith. When we speak about the cross, we speak about Jesus. And he just says something very important here. He could not deny that the crucifixion have a power of those who believe. And here this is about religion. This is not about sign. It's called the cross. It's about Jesus and the cross. When we put them together, there is a special feeling this woman she feel. And look what this man he said. Because there is, there is an infidel jinn in, uh, uh, in the crucifix, because of the statues of a Christ in it. So he admitted that because of a Christ, this is not a piece of wood no more. This is not a piece of metal no more. This is not just a symbolic, but Christ, he make it something powerful. So Christ is the power, it's not the cross. The cross is just what for Jesus did, but by having the cross attached to the name of Jesus, that thing will be powerful. And he could not explain to this woman why she have such a feeling so he tried to to make her live in fear and superstition answer by saying there is a genie but according to islam genie he cannot be in a solid piece of wood genie is can be according to muhammad a snake he can be even a dog he can be he can even can as a human when muhammad he received the satanic verses a, a, a shaitan which is a genie he came to him in a, in, a, uh, uh, in a shape of uh, Jibril and he gave him the satanic verses so I never heard anywhere in Islam that genie can be a piece of wood that is something this man he have to be proven to us however here we notice how they are unable to explain and in order because they cannot explain they have to install fear in your heart to make you run away from the cross so you will never think about it here we go we get a genie inside the cross now if we go and look at a, bit, a little bit in the Bible, we will find the following, which is going to explain who is this man for us and his foolishness. For the image, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved is the power of God. So this guy, he could not explain the power of God in the cross of Jesus. So he said something foolish and foolishness speak from the mouth of those who believe in Allah. 
and ever saw one of them speaking smart and you here we go my videos is all over go and watch them and die laughing at the at the foolishness the second you follow the devil you became a fool official fool and you say the most stupid thing ever so here he could not explain to the women he did not say to her okay no this is fake feeling no he says oh you feel that but this is true you feel it but there is a genie inside he could not explain i mean why the muslims why the muslims they fabricate stories in order to install fear in the heart of muslims so they stay away from a christianity and this is the whole purpose look what muhammad not only him this man have a foolishness speaking muhammad before him he have a phobia of the cross if we go in the hadith we will find muhammad saying the following this is the hadith reference in the front of you and this is the hadith here muhammad claiming that jesus will descend and remember here jesus will descend remember here muslims jesus will descend that's mean he is living he is right now in heaven not in hell so jesus will descend same as god will descend no man will descend only god can do that no man will come down except the messiah according to muslims will come down so he is the man but in the same time he is a just and judge which mean he is must be the absolute god because how you can be just and how you can be judge to order to have just judgment you have to be a person who have a knowledge of god which means of the unseen nobody can lie to you nobody can fool you so even muhammad have a phobia and the phobia is about jesus the jesus the judge the absolute powerful here you ask yourself Jesus coming from the seven galaxies, seven heaven, whatever it is, to, to break a cross. Which cross is that? That is the most stupid phobia ever. But because this man, he have a phobia and he cannot handle the cross. So he said, Jesus will come and will destroy the cross. But every electric column is a cross. Even in your car, you have the cross. Even in your back, you have a cross. Even in your computer, you have a cross. Open your cover of your of your phone, you will see how many crosses there. That's the most stupid thing is. So like Jesus will spend, spend for the rest of eternity just breaking crosses. That's stupid. And what is the cross anyway? So because he have a phobia from the cross and he have an anger from the cross, so he said that Isa will come and will destroy the cross. And then Muhammad, because he have a phobia from pigs, he says he will kill the swine. He will kill the pig. I mean... Jesus is coming from beyond the galaxies to kill a pig. Have you ever watched a cowboy movie? Are you saying to me that Jesus will have two guns and the pig will have two guns and we will have a western music whistle? Du -du 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 -du. And then they shoot at each other and then Jesus killed the pig? That because the phobia of Islam. Phobia of Muhammad is a superstition man. He says stupid things does not make sense. So Jesus coming, he is the judge, he is justice, but he's just a prophet. He's no one, but he is judge and he is justice. That's impossible. And he will kill, he will destroy the cross. What cross? I mean, leave the cross. He will burn the whole earth anyway. <laughs> and then he will kill the swine. I mean, what kind of God, his biggest enemy, is little tiny animal, his name is Mr. Pig. This is telling you that this religion is a stupid cult religion. The same exactly when Muhammad, he said, that when you see a black dog kill him because what he have a shaitan genie so even the dog which is because it's a black muhammad gets scared of it and he think that the black dog is a shaitan every black dog must be killed any black animal actually which is f just black have to be slaughtered why they ask him he said because the black dog is the devil so this man is doing the same if you see something and you are scared of it simply uh, you are a muslim you want to or you want to scare people of something so here if a man now is, is a let us say a powerful god he see a black dog he will be fearing the, the black dog because muhammad he just said that the black dog is the devil remember muhammad he could not receive quran because there was a dog under his bed so the angel jibreel with the 600 wings he could not enter the house of muhammad because of a puppy so even the jibreel have a phobia and the phobia is a phobia of a puppy so this is a religion of phobia, superstition, stupidity. In order to explain things which he cannot explain, the power of a Christ, the power of the cross, they create false fiction answers based on superstition to make Muslims fear believing in Jesus. And that again is explained very well in a very short verse in the Bible. 
that those who they are perishing because they don't believe in Jesus. For them, the cross is a foolishness. For us, it is the power of God. And my friend, you just saw yourself. Jesus will be the judge. The Muslims, they feel something special about it. And actually, let me tell you something maybe many people do not know. There's thousands of churches in the Middle East funded by Muslims. And I'll explain to you how. Muslims, when they get sick, they don't go to the mosque to get healing. They go to churches and they make donation. If the Messiah he heal me, I will give etc. thousand dollars to the church or this Christian church donation. So this, the biggest number of funding for our churches in the Middle East is coming from the Muslim pocket because they get healed. They see the miracle of Jesus and they feel it and they believe in it. But what they can do, they cannot say we are out of the cult of Islam. Ask yourself why they are coming to the cross of Jesus to heal themselves, but they don't go to the black stone of Muhammad to heal themselves. Because the black stone of Muhammad brings nothing but disease. Millions of people kissing it and the bacteria are spreading. But the, 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 the faith in Jesus, you do not need to see Jesus. Faith in Jesus can change your life. And here the verse in the front of us, one of many verses is speaking about the power of the cross in the Bible. But it's very wise very short, very sharp, answering the foolishness of this man who called himself Abdus Samud. And by the way, if you are an Indonesian, I close this video by challenging this man, if he dare, he will never dare, I know that, you know that, all of you know that. We challenge all Indonesian who call themselves Ustad. And by the way, why you call yourself Ustad? I mean, even your prophet did not call himself that. But because those funny people, they love titles, and from titles they make money. Look, Christian Prince is not a priest. I am not a priest. I am not a bishop. I am not Ustad. I am just a humble human being and none of you can debate me because I have the power of Christ with me, which you can say I'm going to wear my cross too. So you better get ready. I have a genie there. So my friend, they explain to us their fear of Christ by fictions and stupid lies. And answers of fictions and superstition proving to us that Muhammad and the religion of Islam is based on stupidity. I hope this video answers your request for the one who asked me. And please feel free to, to translate to Indonesian, especially Indonesian people, so all Indonesian can see how stupid this cult is, who believe that genie have a power over the believers. And by the way, he just proved to us that the Quran is false. I just remember something. Let me mention it to you. In chapter 15, verse number 42, it says, Over my servant you have no authority. Allah speaking to shaitan. And shaitan, which is a genie, by the way, for those who do not know. Shaitan is a genie in Islam. So over my servant you have no authority. So how you are Muslims afraid of the power of shaitan, if he is a genie in the cross, to affect the Muslims? That is proving Islam to be false. Because Islam promised you, Quran promised you, that shaitan have no, of no power over you, those who believe in Allah. And this is a proven again that Quran is false because Muhammad himself received satanic verses. So how shaitan, he put satanic verses in his mouth, yet shaitan have no authority over anyone. He's a believer unless he is a bad criminal. That's mean Muhammad must be a criminal. This is my answer for those who like to learn. And Islam is false and Christ is Lord. As always, we prove it. See you again. Translate the video. Share it. God is be with you and the peace of Christ with all of us. Thank you very much.